So I want to save this metaplasia for last, but I want to talk about atrophy just real quick. And I think we all kind of get a general understanding of atrophy. So atrophy, let's say, for example, I, I, um, here's, a, I'm drawing a leg here. Okay. And in your leg, you have two bones, the tibia, tibia and the fibula. <clears throat> let's say, for example, you get whacked right here by a two before, or, or you know, someone takes your knee out or hits you in the leg playing soccer or something, and you fracture those two bones. What's going to happen? You're going to go to the doctor. He's going to take some x-rays, and if he decides that your leg's broken, then he's going to put a little cast or a big cast, whatever the case may be, on your leg. You're going to, you know, six to eight weeks, you're going you're gonna to have your cast on, and... Um, depending on the severity of the fracture and everything but generally six to eight weeks and you're going to have you're going to be in this cast until those bones heal now when you get out of your cast after six to eight weeks you're going to notice that your leg is really small and why is that well that is called atrophy because you weren't using it you weren't using your muscles and for rightfully so you weren't using your muscles and so those muscles decided to um, become smaller and you you underwent the process of atrophy now in atrophy um, there's a term that's called autophagy now autophagy refers to if you have taken any medical terminology uh, auto means self and phagy means eating. So the cell starts to eat itself. And that sounds kind of morbid, but you know, this it's just the way that you know you got all these proteins in your cell, and you got all these organelles, and you got your nucleus, and so what will happen is your cell will start eating itself, and that's how it and that's the process. Uh, one of the processes in, in, in how you, you know you undergo atrophy is you is the cell starts eating itself um, just to kind of conserve energy. And if you're not going to be using that cell, why why you know why let it use up precious nutrients and and other things that you're eating to support it if it's not being used? So <clears throat> autophagy is the process by which cells eat itself to undergo the process of atrophy. Okay. Um, now let's talk about metaplasia. Metaplasia is the process by which, well, let's say, one cell type, and this is a very simplistic um, explanation, but let's say there's a square cell here. Metaplasia is the process by which that square cell now becomes let's say a circle square or or sorry a circle cell or a triangle um cell it's converting one cell type to another cell type okay so metaplasia is converting one cell type to another let's say um for example this uh this is a picture um that will that that's helpful to understand kind of the process of um, metaplasia. Um, this is a this is a diagram of in, in let's just say got a picture here. This is your let's just say these are pictures of some lungs of an individual. And a great example. This is kind of a let me draw a better lung here. I'm not drawing the lobes, so this is not an anatomically correct picture. Um, but air travels in like this into your lungs, down your trachea, and um, <clears throat> all the little branches um, <clears throat> to get the air needs to get to the lungs. And inside the trachea and bronchi are these columnar epithelium. Okay, are these t cell types here? And if you notice on these little cell types, or on these columnar, there's little hairs. You see these little hairs? These hairs 
are called cilia. And <clears throat> like I've got something in my throat, um, but if if you you know accidentally put water down your throat, or you know you, water goes down the wrong tube, um, or mucus, or slight secretions, or you inhale, uh, you know if you're working uh, with some wood or whatever, and you get some sawdust in your lungs or whatever, these these uh, uh, little hairs are going to try to remove these particles out of your lung. And this is called ciliary clearance or a ciliary escalator, escalator, if you will. And they'll try to carry these particles up out, into, up out of your lungs. Now, if you're a chronic smoker, um, what happens is the smoke is very damaging. Um, um, damages these uh, normal um, columnar epithelium and these cells they're not tough enough to handle the smoke so what will happen is that the cells will actually convert to the through metaplasia it will convert to a squamous a squamous just means it's a cell that's more flat um, but the, uh, the, the columnar epithelium will actually convert to a squamous cell and you know that's through the process of metaplasia and notice that these cells these squamous cells they don't have the ciliary at the end so you do not you no longer benefit from this uh, you know this process or this ciliary clearance mechanism to get stuff out of your lungs so if you smoke, I encourage you um, to stop smoking and and save these normal columnar epithelial cells. And if you look at um, uh, this uh, microscope um, picture, microscopic picture tissue sample, you can see the columnar epithelium, these kind of taller looking cells. And then right here, you can kind of see these ciliary projections at the end of these cells. And then here is the transition into the squamous cell type. Um, so that is an example of metaplasia, converting one cell type to another to prevent injury or to, to be a better or stronger cell type that will handle stress a little bit better. So that's why uh, uh, some of the process of metaplasia happens is to convert a, a stronger cell type uh, from a weaker cell type to a stronger cell type that will handle that specific stress a little bit more efficiently.